The outer ear is shaped somewhat like a funnel ending at the eardrum. The surface of the eardrum is pushed back and forth by the vibrations of the sound waves. The movement of the eardrum sets the ossicles in action, three little bones commonly known as the hammer, anvil, and stirrup. This film shows the human eardrum, which is only about a quarter of an inch across. These are the ossicles that work within the human ear. The tiny stirrup works with a rocking motion, creating pressure on the fluid of the inner ear, the cochlea. Driving back and forth, this little lever mechanism increases the pressure about 10 times. And now we discover what really happens to chopsticks. Here's a simplified view of the cochlea. It's lined with the thin basilar membrane, which contains 24,000 hair-like cells. In this illustration, they somewhat resemble the keyboard of a piano. The sound waves, now transformed into fluid pressure waves, disturb the hair-like cells along the basilar keyboard according to the pitch of the notes. Each pitch vibrates a particular group of tiny hair cells, triggering electrical impulses that proceed along the auditory nerve and form a brain pattern which to us means music.